Alright, Poppy, where you at? I'm here to meet and talk. There she is. Is Highwing alright? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Gotcha. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. Got a follower. Okay. <gasps> a centaur. Tread carefully. I don't know if you can hear it, but I hate this apartment just because that AC is so loud. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? Yes. That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. You better not expect me to go in there. This is... Odd. May what is it? Juice. Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. If the poachers were here, goodness, who would? Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Who would have thought they were here? Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Hmm. Give me a drink. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. You're telling me. You're having us get into some How dangerous do stuff. How goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's do disillusionment. Let's get a better lay of the land. I could do disillusionment or Accio, it's sending. Bodega. 
Thanks, Poppy. What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons? The tent wasn't that big. Dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Alright. That's it. Wizard kind will pay for what they've done. No, well. <laughs> Well, so much for being They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her odds, shall we? Listen, I'm not the one throwing us into these fights. It's usually the person we're with. Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. Can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Give me some of that. Hello, Hamora. Give me that dragon egg. Oh, there it was. Come on, there we go. Boom. You're the one we're looking for, and you brought our friend. This is almost too much. Protego, see how you like this. Take care of my. Let me out, 
Trust this girl. This may have been a bad idea. I suppose we'll find out. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, she had pretty good glass. Terribly bad idea. This way. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. So Weasley's assignment first. It's part of my quest. Okay. Collect the field guide page from the Book of Intermediate Transfiguration in the library. Oh, there's a chest. Grab that. Revelio. Here it is. Book book Professor, Professor Weasley, Weasley. Weasley to find should be around. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Yes, I am. Professor actually. Weasley asked me to uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz. Just for fun, focusing mainly on the law of the wizarding world. She seems familiar. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ah, oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. If it means I get the book, okay. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid. Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? Uh... Snidget? The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question! Which okay. potion is commonly referred to as Liquid Luck? Oh, what is this? This is, uh... Oh, gosh. I've heard this before. Uh... If this is easy, I'm, s I'm screwed when it comes to the harder ones. Felix Felicis. Well done. 
Oh. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Uh. It's the Deathly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection cloak. Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Okay, so not the snitch. I want to say it's the bludger. The bludger. I'm bludger. sorry, but the correct oh. answer was the quaffle. quaffle. When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. Yes. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows a drinker to change species. That is false. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. Those weren't... There were some that were easy. Uh... I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the there moment. There were some that were easy, Let me know but if you change your most mind. were not. Uh, I put the I... book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make Let me get this page. Settle down. Settle down. So is the owl Transfiguration was it alive? As you may be weary of hearing me say. Is it dead? Exact science that can take a lifetime to master. I'm worried. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. You haven't showed us one motion or nothing. Okay. Uh, so. That's probably the easiest spell so far. It really was. Beautifully done. Hello there. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear, good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no in- I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, Ancestors. I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? 
large, magically fortified. I'll see that windmill back there, which is like from goblin metal. skipping. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. A good castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our Look lives distrusting wizards. Why is that outline well, wizard so sharp for the mouth? Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bacalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Let's do it. I can do this. I will await you know what your this calls return. for? Deception spell. I okay. shall see you soon. It's the same R. The door is looking at us. I wonder if that's how I open those chests. I just have to... That makes sense. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. These Order. machines operate on steam. The pulse. No. Incendio. I'll meet you'll need to stay close to me. I've dealt with worse enemies than these. We have, but let's try to sneak. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Matter of time till Ranrock sets things right. Nope, we gotta fight. Hmm. So watch your step round here. Okay, well. Here we go. Last loyalist. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. Ah, uh, do I just want to fight here? 
You know what? I'm gonna fight. This is too much. You don't even know the half of it, bro. Incendio. We'll reclaim what is rightfully ours. Revenue. Hello? Ah, shit. Okay, I hit. Not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. 
Let's get out of here and tell Lodko what we found. Can we please talk about what... That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, hat you. Without further ado, hat you. I'm gonna start saying that. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So I was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. Hmm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl 